politics. The GOP opening a field office in Orange County, California. Apparently they're worried about the Democrats making waves in the formerly Golden State. Joining us now, RNC spokesperson Kelly McInerney. What took you so long? Surely it's been obvious for a long time that California is heavily Democrat and they could pick up a lot of seats in November. Why only now are you doing the field office in Orange County? Well, first of all, it's important to point out the RNC has had staff on the ground for a very long time. We have nine staffers there now, so we've been there, and we know that this is a competitive area. This is the NRCC, our counterpart, who's now opening the field office uh, to p pile on top of what has already been a significant investment um, from the RNC. So we've been there, we're on the ground, and Stuart, we know what we're up against. We know that history challenges us on this front. Now, I believe that the Democrats need 23 new extra seats in the House to control the House. A third of those 23, the seats that they need, are contested seats in California. You're really that's up right. against it. Yeah, we are. But the nice thing about California that we are seeing that's very encouraging is the way the primaries are set up. So basically, the top two vote getters advance to the general. What that means is in a lot of these races, you have eight or nine Democrats running. Meanwhile, you have two Republicans running on the other side. There's a real chance we could see two Republicans advance forward because the Democrats are tearing one another apart and are splitting the vote. So that's the one good thing about California. Are you struggling? After this, uh, the spending bill, a lot of voters are very upset uh, what was passed by Congress because Trump voters did not get what they voted for. The wall, immigration, et cetera, et cetera. They just didn't get it. And there's a lot of them, a lot of people very upset with Republican leadership. Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell. What do you say? Well, President Trump was no fan of the omnibus, despite the military spending, which was really important and the reason he signed it. But, you know, when we look at this, Stuart, and this is why it's so important to make this argument, we needed nine Democrats in order to, have, to keep the government open. Name one Democrat who would vote with us on the wall, for instance. I can't name one. This is why we need to expand our majorities. We need nine more Republican senators, and we need to keep the House. This bill is evidence of that, and it should energize our base. Uh, not disincentivize them from showing up. Look, there was no punishment for sanctuary cities or sanctuary states. There was only 1.6 billion for the wall, and that was largely for a fence and replacement of existing wall structures which are falling down. The president didn't get anything on the immigration side of this deal, and yet the House voted for it. Forget the Senate for a second. I understand the balance of power there. But the House, they voted for this spending bill. Well, because they realized they did not want to shut down the government like the Democrats did, and they got blamed for it, and that was not a good scenario. But look, Stuart, we're with you. We want to defund sanctuary cities. We want to defund Planned Parenthood. These are basic conservative principles. That's what we want. But we need more senators. We cannot do this without either getting more senators, number one, or changing the, the rules to a simple majority in the Senate, which, by the way, is what President Trump wants. He's putting pressure on the Senate to say, change the rules. We need a simple majority vote here. But I don't know how many Republican Congress people that we've had on this show saying, look, that spending bill, we signed it, it's going to kill us in November. It won't get you extra votes, it'll reduce your votes. Well, it was a matter of national security. As President Trump said, we've had hundreds of billions of dollars drained out of our military during the Obama administration. We needed to fund our military. And that has to come first. Wasn't a, his favorite spending package. He said that. He said he won't sign another one like it. But we needed to fund our military and, by the way, give our troops a raise. All right. We hear you. Katie McEnany, we do hear you. And thanks for coming on board today. Thank Appreciate you, Stuart. It.